video is about mindfulness. What is mindfulness? <sighs> there is so much out there now about mindfulness and really all mindfulness is, is being present. Being present in the present moment without any form of judgment to that moment and to yourself. Now, mindfulness takes in lots of different areas. You can do mindful walking where you are conscious and awake and aware to everything that you see, everything that you smell, everything that you touch on your walk. You know, touch the leaves, touch the wall, touch, you know, things that are safe to touch and feel, feel the air on your skin, feel the wind, feel the sun, feel your senses, really get in touch with your senses. So that's one way. You can do mindful washing up. You can be really mindful of the temperature of the water. If you're using washing up liquid, then be you know, aware of the bubbles and how do they feel on the skin. How does your hand feel when it's immersed in the water? How does it feel when it touches the sponge or the cloth or the brush that you're using? Even just moving your arm when you are washing up, be aware of the movement, be aware of the muscles. So there is such a plethora of different ways of being mindful. You can sit and drink a cup of tea mindfully. And of course, that will not include a phone or any television or any magazine. It's just holding the cup or the mug and feeling the warmth of it sort of hitting your skin, holding it and feeling the warmth around the mug. It's about being utterly present in the moment that you are in. You can be mindful in conversations that you're having, have an intentional practice of being the listener and not the person who needs to talk and get their point across. You can be mindful uh, doing a drawing activity, doing mindful colouring. You can be mindful when you're walking, as I've said, but you can actually think about what muscles and how you're moving and can you feel the air on your skin as you're moving through on your path. So mindfulness is about being and being in a moment where there is no judgment of yourself or that moment. So you could be on a mindful walk, for instance, and maybe suddenly the diggers and the drills start in the field next to you, you know, at a house having some work done. And immediately what you might want to do is think, oh, you know, I've come out for a nice, peaceful, mindful walk and now I've got a digger and I've got this noise and I've come away for, for less noise. I've come away for silence and space and nature. So if that does happen, then just think about well, what is the moment? How can I be mindful in this moment? You can be compassionate to yourself. You can be mindful of the workers. You can be actually listening. Well, I've never really listened to a digger properly before. I've never li really listened to the drill properly before. And bring that into your mindful practice. So that is my little sort of overview of mindfulness. You will find lots and lots and lots of information online about mindfulness. And as I record this video, it is early May um, 2020. So we are in the UK currently in lockdown and uh, we are receiving information constantly about um, 
ways that you can learn and practice things to help you at home. So there are tons and tons of mindfulness, um, free mindfulness meditations that you can find on YouTube. There are apps that you can download that you can follow along to. So you can listen to something being mindful. So it could be the, the sound of a chime bell or... Um, all sorts of different beautiful sounds. You could listen to a waterfall, you could listen to the sea. There's so many different things that you can listen to with mindfulness. So mindfulness is about using all your senses, your sight, your hearing, your smell, your taste, your touch. So that is my little overview of mindfulness. I hope you really get to practice because it will really boost your own self-awareness, your self-compassion and um, your mental, emotional health and your resilience. If you've enjoyed this video, then I would highly recommend you check out the courses that we have available at the moment. On the Big Happiness website, you will find links to any courses that we've got available. Two that I would highly recommend to you are one, um, Hardwiring Happiness. That is a seven day experiment into learning how you can start to hardwire your brain and your nervous system for happiness. It is jam-packed with tools, with techniques, with knowledge, with the science of self. So that's number one. Number two, if you fancy a deeper dive and a much more experiential experience, then I would recommend Boost to you. Now, Boost stands for Biohacks to Optimize and Organize Self-Exploration and Transformation. Basically, it's about helping you to build real resilience um, amid fear and uncertainty. So if you're ready to make sense of your thinking, your behaviours, your negative patterns, uh, those patterns of protection that I like to call them, um, then Boost would be a good place for you to go and uh, explore yourself. So have a look at the links and I hope to see you there.